outside the doorway, stacking up Amp's adrenaline. Inside, highly armed and armored bad guys, defenseless civilians, or nothing at all. In close quarters battle, CQB, each team member has a specific responsibility that ensures the safety of the entire unit. Success of CQB depends on an extraordinary level of trust, teamwork, and training. Training, training, and more training. Classroom training, marksmanship training, team training. Training so thorough and so rigorous, it produces a response force that moves together like a finely tuned machine, capable of making split-second decisions with deadly accuracy. The shoot house is where all the training and tactics and movement come together in CQB exercises. In the shoot house, a protective force team learns teamwork skills that will save their lives. Keep the stack tight. Hesitation in the fatal funnel or doorway entrance to the room can be a deadly error. They run their walls, move to their points of domination. In the shoot house, you find out how well the trainees cover their assigned areas of the room and how well they operate as a team. You find out if the unarmed civilian who pops up from a barricade with his hands in the air causes anyone to panic and shoot. There are a number of options for conducting situational training exercises with a high degree of realism. Die marking cartridges or simunition are an option. So are laser-based systems such as Miles ESS and 2D projection trainers such as FATS and Cubic. However, one virtual training option provides both highly realistic tactical team training and an after-action review capability. Rewind and replay. Sandia National Laboratory's augmented reality training system employs the same advanced motion capture technology used by the entertainment industry. Combined with sophisticated software and video, the system creates a highly realistic shoot house environment, complete with virtual bad guys. Here's how it works. A precision 3D motion capture system from Phase Space Inc. tracks special LEDs that are mounted on the helmets and M4 training weapons. The helmet is equipped with a video camera and a head-mounted display, both of which are connected to a backpack containing a laptop computer. The 3D motion capture system enables the computer to overlay virtual people and objects onto the live video that's presented to the trainee, and to calculate whether a shot from their weapon hit or missed the bad guys. The system currently supports up to six simultaneous trainees. Multi-view high-resolution linear camera arrays operating at a blazing fast frame rate of 480 hertz not only capture every move, they display the scenes on a head-mounted display attached to the helmets. When trainees pull down the visor, they see a shoot house or other urban terrain scene superimposed on top of the bare room with astonishing realism. All trainees see the same scene, share the same reality, and they engage enemy combatants in virtual space. Bad guys or unarmed civilians can come from around corners or pop up from behind obstacles. When a trainee shoots and a bad guy falls, all trainees witness it. If a bad guy, or even friendly fire, takes out a blue team member, the person hit sees a red flash. While the situational exercises force trainees to think and act under the pressure of rapidly unfolding events, an after-action review that actually shows them how they performed will increase their tactical proficiency. Besides helping make trainees mission ready, the augmented reality training system has other advantages. Over the life of the system, AR training will be less costly in terms of dollars, manpower, and ammunition necessary to train for CQB. Also, it can be installed in areas that are not suitable for live fire training. And more bang for the buck makes more frequent training possible. 
and frequent training provides the stress inoculation that results in thinking clearly and quickly and moving precisely under pressure. In addition, the system can be set up in secure or sensitive facilities where weapons with simunition are not allowed. Sandia's augmented reality training system can be adapted to law enforcement, SWAT training and first responders, but it can also benefit other applications, such as surgical techniques, collaborative engineering, project planning, and even games. In real life close quarters battle, there's no rewind, no do-over. But with extensive training in augmented reality, there is the opportunity to watch the rewind and go back in and do it over right. Successful training in stressful situations conditions trainees to internalize the move, communicate, shoot skills they will need for mission success and surviving hostile engagements. Thank you.